What is up, Reddit? Oh, wait, we're actually on YouTube. We're just answering Reddit's questions. That's kind of what we're doing today. Pretty much the moral of the story is Reddit asks for something. Of course I have to do it. So we're going to give some examples of how to use Lua auto commands. What is up with the new APIs? All that kind of good stuff. Let's just get right into it because this is a demo post. So first thing you know, nvim create auto command. First field here is event. If you just do help event, you'll find all of these events and there's a ton of them. Different things that happen inside of Neo then. You can read about which one fits the current needs that you need for each situation. In this one, we're just going to use buff enter because it's pretty easy to show. And then this is the options. There's a bunch of different options. I'm going to show you a few of them. This auto command thing isn't just for running Lua functions. You can also pass commands directly, which in this case we can do. So if we check what the current things are for buff enter, you'll notice that I've got a few different ones. I'm actually going to now execute this file and then we can check again and see buff enter and we've got this echo hello notice this star here just means that this is true for every pattern so ma no matter what kind of file you're entering it will always match this if we run this again and we check what buff enter looks like you'll notice that we have two of them that is probably not what you want generally this is why you would create an our group so if we uh clear buff enter like this you'll notice that is no longer here okay so we can create vim.api.nvim create our group whoops sorry our group and we can call this i don't know tj oh no smash that like button probably is better of course and we're going to set clear as true you don't actually have to put this as the default we can make this a group and then we can actually pass this group into this function here so now when we execute this and we look at buff enter, you'll see smash that like button as its own group. And now it has echo. Hello. If we keep on executing this multiple times, we're going to see that there's always only one of these because we've set clear to be true. If we change this to false, we execute it. Notice that now we've got two of them. We can keep executing it. We're going to keep on getting more of these auto commands unless we change this to be true. And then in which case we will only have one again. So that's why you would you want to use an auto group that basically makes it so that you can sort of create like an item potent function or script that every time it gets called it always make sure that you ends with the same state. Okay. So that's why you do that. You can also create multiple of these. So this could be hello one and hello two or something like that. Right. And they're both inside of the same group because they're different calls. You're going to get both of these. So that's the very basics, but we can actually do a lot more than this. We could actually make this one only available for the current buffer. If we do that, you'll notice that this one is for every buffer, but this one's only when we enter into the buffer of buffer number one. So you can start adding other things here. These options are all detailed within um, create auto command here. And you'll see we have a bunch of <laughs> hellos getting printed when we move between things because that's what I decided was a good example to do. So you can use callback and command. We're going to talk about this momentarily. Pattern allows you to set different patterns. You can alternatively pass a buffer. It mentions how these are mutually exclusive options. You can pass a group once nested or description optionally to give some bonus information about the auto command. So you can do all of those and that's great. This was pretty much the way things were before with this command situation, except now it's maybe a little bit easier to write from Lua or from remote plugins or even from VimScript. However, what we also added was the ability to say callback. And the reason that callback is a separate field than command is because callback, just as a quick side note, can also be a string. So if I said my func right here, this will actually try and call a VimScript function my function. So you could also have my plugin funk here or something like that. If what you had was a bunch of remote plugins that were creating Vim script things, it doesn't super matter. But what's nice is now we've actually improved the way to call Vim script functions as well from auto commands by doing this. But that's why there has to be two different keys. Regardless, when you do this, you can just literally write a function in here that says print. Hello, we in an auto command now and like this. And then now that you've done this kind of thing, 
you can actually just directly pass Lua functions into auto commands. You don't have to make them a global and then reference them through some count or whatever. And then when this auto command gets cleared later, this function reference also gets cleared and is able to be garbage collected. So if we execute this file and we check what's inside of here, you'll see that we have a new Lua function. If we run it again, you'll see this is actually Lua function 201, not the same Lua function. It's a re-executing this file again. And so then it creates a new Lua closure that is referenced. You can even do something just like, of course, local my stir is hello, right? And then instead of doing this, we could say print my stir and then it will do this. It can capture everything just like a normal Lua function could do. That's what you can do now with auto commands very easily and very simply. You can start expanding this to rewrite other auto commands that you have or to more easily create auto commands out of local functions or different kinds of state, all of those kinds of goodies. That's a quick rundown of what's going on with Lua auto commands. If you have more questions, leave them down in the comments and I could make another demo video that can show you what you need to know. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, as it says in the all group name. Smash the like button, subscribe, etc. Thanks everybody. Bye.